Hello to the parents of Trinity Year 12. My name is Killian. I'm speaking to you from the National Citizen Service. And today I'm going to be telling you all about how your young person, your son or your daughter, can be getting involved in a really exciting NCS Half Term October programme. Now I'd just like to thank the careers leader, Miss Linda Harvey Ship, for letting me be beam to you into your phones or whatever you're watching me on. And it's a shame I can't be here in person at your wonderful school where I have actually played hockey before um, and talked to you directly, but this is the next best thing. So NCS is the National Citizen Service. It's a government run, run program for young people ages 16 to 17, which involves them learning lots of key skills for the future, meeting lots of new faces from their local borough and running a really exciting social action project. Now, a lot of your young people in the past may have been told that they can't do something because they're not old enough, maybe rightly so. Maybe they've also convinced themselves that they can't do enough because they don't know something. Well, NCS is all about turning those moments when they have been told, no, you can't, no, I can't, into, no, we can, no, I can. And it's all about empowering them for the future. Much like in their studies, they're empowering themselves, taking ownership. NCS is all about that on a personal level. So I'm sure your young people um, would have had a different summer to what they've been used to, not at school, maybe locked in the house, maybe inside, maybe not spending enough time with their mates. Well, this autumn is hopefully gonna be a little different. They'll have the opportunity during the half term to be outside, getting involved in their community, getting involved in lots of fun activities and meeting lots of new young people, maybe even being a role model, taking on a mentor role to other young people in the community. So the NCS programme runs during the October half term, beginning on the Monday. So your young people will be meeting in their local borough in Croydon. We start the week with some outdoor activities so they could be doing something like rock climbing. We even had some young people from Croydon during the summer go on the Go Ape. So that kicks off the week. It's all a lot of fun, gives them a chance to relax, get to know each other. Then we move on to the skill based workshops, which is all about giving them lots of tangible examples they can speak about on their CVs. So we run public speaking workshops, which I'm sure a lot of your young people will be very good at, very confident they are when I've met them before. Uh, we also run um, money management workshops, business skills, CV building workshops, and we even run a little enterprise challenge. So I'm sure a lot of your young people will be thinking maybe about starting their own businesses in the future. I imagine you parents, some of you have done that uh, yourself, so they'll be following in your footsteps. So that gives them the opportunity to put their brains together with the other young people and think of a good business plan, which is a lot of fun. And then they pitch that to our little dragon's den. We round off the week with a social action project as well, because NCS isn't just about the impact it has on your young person. It's all about the difference it can make to their wider community as well. So your young people will go out into the Croydon borough or whatever borough they choose uh, to do the NCS programme in. Um, and they will raise money and awareness for a cause that they care about. Now, on the screen are some examples of projects that young people in Croydon worked on just last summer. So you can see the don't zap the zip policy. Uh, the government wanted to start charging young people for their travel again. Some NCS's young people went out, handed out leaflets and petitioned against that. So that was very exciting, very impactful as well. Another group in the bottom left hand corner, Youth Rising, uh, they created a podcast where they speak about issues that were affecting them and other young people. Another group as well campaigned for Lives Not Knives, uh, which is obviously very important in London, and they made a real impact there. So whatever it is your young person wants to do, their idea, they can take that and run with it and hopefully make a real difference as well. Because Trinity as a school obviously encourages your students to be working hard towards their grades, but it's also about thinking co about co-curricular pursuits as well, and how that can make your young person the best they can be for the future. 
So another example of a young person making a real difference during the summer was the England footballer Marcus Rashford. So he tweeted to the government um, to ask them to stop um, charging young people for school meals and all school meals for young people should be free. He of course uh, got the government to make a U-turn and obviously showed he can make a real impact as a young person. So we want your young people, your sons and daughters to believe that they really have the opportunity to make some change, which I know they can do on NCS. So how much is a place for your young person this autumn to go on the programme? For October half term, for your year tells exclusively, it is free. Which is wonderful, they don't have to pay a penny to go on the programme. Everything, all the activities, all the foods, they'll all be sorted for the half term experience, which is a really good opportunity for themselves as well. Now, a lot of your young people will be thinking about going to university in the future. I know some of the top universities, in fact, I know 10% of Trinity's graduates of six forms go to the Uni of Oxford and Cambridge. So your young people will get, as well as their grades, are gonna need a lot to be speaking about in their, in, in their university interviews. And NCS is a great way to ensure that they have tangible examples, very recent, and to show that they've maybe thought about outside the box, outside what their, their school life, their home life, and that they can make a real difference in their community and to other young people as well. So as I said, the NCS Autumn Programme is in the October half term. It begins on Monday the 26th of October and runs through to the end of the week when the Social Action Project will be wrapped up. There is the option to do a couple of weekends after volunteering if they're interested and um, so they can carry on their good work in their community. Now at the bottom of the screen you can see that are limited spaces available in all of Croydon. We have a lot of young people get interested and sign up and we can speak to them, send them videos. So I encourage your young person to sign up as soon as possible and that you direct them uh, in order to do so. So how do they sign up to the NCS programme? On our website, we are ncs.com. Very easy to do, you type it in, click on the sign up button in the top right hand page. Your young person can fill in all their details, what school they go to, where they want to go onto the programme. It should take about 10 minutes at most, very easy to do. Then they have their programme locked for NCS Autumn this half term. There is also a QR code which is on, on, on the screen. Your, you, you can scan that or your young person and it will equally take them to the sign up page as well where they can input their details. Now, just on a last note from me personally, when I finished university, I thought I had it all. I had my journalism degree, I had my work experience. I'd also had my part-time jobs as well. What could go wrong? Well, it did take me around two years to get a full-time job and I realized that's because I didn't have enough skills. I didn't have enough to show I hadn't fought outside of my remit, apart from just doing what I had to do. Like I said, NCS is a great way for your young people to get lots of skills they need, have lots of fun during the half time, and also use their time pretty wisely as well. Your students too, um, or should I say your young people are increasing or very bright as well. So like I said, they can be mentors for the other young people. They can lead these projects. They can guide other young people as well. And they can talk about that on their CVs and in the interviews too. So once again, thank you very much for listening to me in the comfort of your homes or wherever you're watching me. Please encourage your young people to sign up. It's free, very easy to do. And I look forward to seeing them in autumn. I'm just going to finish this presentation with a little video of what young people got up to in their life after lockdown. Thank you very much. When the time comes again to step out freely into the world, all my friends who held me down You'll be the first I holler at, to link up with. We'll be face to face again to say things we couldn't say behind a screen. I've made a list of all the places we said we'll visit. Let's see how far our legs take us to that lake. Those woods. All that precious greenery we said will help protect in our fight for a better climate. 
What can phase us? When we're told, no, you can't, we say, no, we can. Even when we're back at school, we'll have a better time since we've spent so many days indoors. Becoming our own teachers. Picking up new skills. Learning more about who we are as individuals. As siblings. As a family. From now on, every person in my neighbourhood is my cousin. Only families stick together through tough times, like my community did. Shout out to those who lived a life locked down. Shout out to the frontliners. Shout out to those who stood for equality. Shout out to those fueled with hope and joy. And, and now together, together, we're ready to rebuild the world. As we approach the end of lockdown, I think we can all agree that it's been very difficult, but we can also agree that we have all learned very important things over this period of time. I hope that we all remember, despite being far apart, we all came together to form one big community. The fact that this has taken away some things that we can't get back, I'd like to think that would make us appreciate everything a bit more. Uh, after the lockdown, I'm going to look to get to my best friend's house and take in a really nice view of the city. And I really hope the world is a more united place after. We're all human and in this together. So I hope the world will never be the same, but better.